and Mad King Ludwig would invite guests into the Castle Linderhof, where they would fall victim to any of his dozens of deadly traps. Rude! <laughs> That's why his name was not Lovable Ludwig, or Good Neighbor King of Bavaria. <gasps> Stand back! Ah, come on, what are the odds of these traps still... I'm sure the booty is booby-trapped, so don't <gasps> touch anything. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh. Bad day. Bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day! Snowboarding works much better with snow. Follow him. Follow him. What is it, Uncle? Come, give Uncle a hug. Oh! You did not make coffee this morning. Coffee is the only thing keeping Uncle's ancient heart beating. You want dead, Uncle? No? Then you make coffee. Okay. One more thing. You receive phone call from the university. They want you to translate parchments. Okay. One more thing. I cannot read these inscriptions. Very old writing. I must go in back. Look at my journals. Okay. One uh... more thing. This is Jade, your niece. She will live with you for a year, okay? Okay. I have a niece? Your cousin Shin's girl from Hong Kong. Jade is not behaving well there, doing poorly in school. Your cousin thinks she will do better in America with you. Oh, nobody asked me. Did not want to bother you. Now, you both get acquainted while I go do work. But I don't know anything about children. <laughs> Hello. I am Jackie. Hmm. No English. Nero, ma. Welcome to Uncle's Rare Finds. How can I help you? You're a Jackie Chan, the archaeologist? Oh, I dabbled in the study of past civilizations. Well, we are aware that you recently dabbled a shield from a Bavarian castle. Our extremely wealthy employer is interested in purchasing that shield. I'm sorry. 
I already donated that piece to the university. Really? It would be in your family's best interests to undonate the shield, Mr. Chan. By this time tomorrow. Did they buy anything? No. You terrible salesman. Watch the girl and hide the shield. Where am I going to hide a big shield? It's... Where did I put it? That will buff right out. Get out of here. doing here I'm afraid it's official business my friend I didn't think these were your pack-up singers where have you been I don't hear from you for six years boom you're in San Francisco saving my butt oh those thugs must have knocked me out actually I knocked you out <sighs> why did you do that Jackie I thought we were friends we are Jackie I'm sorry, but this location must remain secret. Oh, yes! I can see this is some very special garbage. Jackie? Maybe I'll see you in another six years. Excuse me while I call a cab. Uh, Jackie? Oh, what? I tried to warn you. How did you get down here? The stairs. Follow me. Jackie, welcome to Section 13. I thought you were with Interpol. Even when you knew me then, I was shepherding this agency in secret. You're a spy? They're spies? Law enforcement, Jackie. Elite Special Forces. So why give me the big tour? We are aware that you recently acquired an artifact in Bavaria. Why does everyone know this? Jackie. You are the second one to ask me about the shield today. As I feared. Want to fill me in? 
Section 13 was founded to investigate large-scale international crimes, crimes which it seems can often be traced to a syndicate called the Dark Hand. The Dark Hand has connections to nearly every criminal activity in existence. Their leader is this man, Valmont. You are telling me one man stopped you? Uh, yes, but three of my enforcers, armed with high-tech weapons, were defeated by an archaeologist. Did we mention he had windshield wipers? Toru? Uh-oh. Wow. Whoa. Toru! Get breathe! Enough. Toru, bring me the shield. While your Toru impresses Valmont, perhaps he should be aided by... The Shadow Khan. As you wish, Shendu. We recently learned that the Dark Hand has a sudden interest in collecting certain historical artifacts. Why? Unknown. But with this new development, Section 13 could use an archaeology expert such as yourself. Oh, I'm really just an amateur. A wise and talented amateur, whom I know and trust. But my university work... It wouldn't be full-time, Jackie. Research only, to help us stay one step ahead of Valmont. I will consider it. <laughs> Jackie! Who is that? No relation. Stand back. Jackie, grab on! Whoa! We're busting you out of here. You speak English? Jackie, how many fingers do you see? Look, fishies. <laughs> Let go of me! <laughs> Young lady, how did you get in here? The stairs. Where did you get the bike? You could have been hurt. I snuck it out of their garage. Knew he needed to blow this taco stand. So, we out of here? Jade, these people are my friends. Your friends knocked you out and took you to a super secret underground base? Uh, yes. America is so cool! Care to explain how our security was penetrated by a child? I'm not a child. I'm Jackie's niece. Didn't know you had a niece, Jackie. Join the club. Jay. Come on, just admit, wasn't I brave? Yes, but you also need wisdom to know when challenges are too big. Courage without wisdom is foolishness. Understand? Uh... My English must not be too good. Hello? Jackie! Uncle, where are you? I uh, can't say. Oh, one more thing. Have you seen Jade? Yes, she's with me. See? I knew you two would get along. One more thing. I have been doing research on the shield. Jackie, I have found what the inscriptions mean. They are incantations. Incantations? Magic. Very powerful. But the shield not important. Of course the shield is important, Uncle. Everybody I meet today wants the shield. Ah, shield not important. The shield. Uncle? Uncle? Your uncle is fine for now, Mr. Chan. But every hour I do not possess the shield. Yes, yes, I understand. I will bring it. I will tell no one. A favor between friends. Watch my niece. Jackie, where are you Please, going? Please, don't ask questions. All right, young lady. Where 
would Uncle hide the shield? Hmm. Hi. Ah! How did you... The stairs. Well, take these stairs to your room. Oh, let me help. Uncle's my uncle, too, I think. Fine. Help find the shield. This it? Yes! I must be getting that wisdom you were talking about. Thank you. Now go to your room. <gasps> Uncle's up there, huh? You speak English? You know I do. So what part of go to your room do you not understand? Ah. Stay here, or I'll put you on the first flight back to Hong Kong. Scout's honor! Like I'm a scout? The shield. Why does your employer want it? That is not your concern. Okie dokie, you want the shield? Catch! <laughs> Fool! Say sayonara to your uncle! Huh? I bet I run faster than you. Come and get it. Shield. meant for your family to get involved in this. It's not your fault. The Dark Hand was after the shield. Ow! I told you! Shield not important. The talisman in the center of the shield is. That is where the magic lies. Uh, don't you worry. We'll be sure to look into that once we reclaim the talisman from the Dark Hand. Don't need to. Admit it. I'm getting wise. Master! Tauru? What? One more thing. See the markings? 
sign of the rooster from the Chinese zodiac. There are 11 more talismans where that came from. And my gut tells me the dark hand's after them, too. You on board, Jackie? Uh, Absolutely. Hey, Jackie, what inspired you to make this TV show? When I was young, I always liked cartoon. I really hope someday I want to be a cartoon character. Cartoon can do all kinds of things I cannot do in my real life. After so many, so many, so many years later, the people, the children still can remember me. Today, my dream come true. I love cartoon. There exists within the planet Earth a fantastic lost world. In this inner world, elite warriors ride huge spiders and bravely fight against evil. When the wicked rise, the word goes out, calling all spider riders. Calling all spider riders. Rest, ride, 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 ride. Spider rider, be you. If you true, then you could be too. It's cool, you could join our team, no matter how dark it seems. If you look the powers inside you, so strive to be a great rider. We're riding on, so now we're calling on. Cause we train to gain the skills Yup, we the ultimate The power that you think wins in the end We riding on, so now we're calling on Spider Riders Bless Riders Bless Riders I put it on the line I know I will survive Let's ride on these documents as well. Ray. Is Prince Lumen always like that? What are you talking about? Come on, you know, is he always such a lazy bones? Lazy? He's always snoozing at his desk. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like to kick back and catch some Z's as much as the next guy, but Lumen never seems to do much for the kingdom. Don't be so quick to judge other people. Remember, Prince Lumen works in mysterious ways. He's the Spider Rider's captain, and we've never even seen him on a spider. You know, I hate to say it, but Hunter's right. What are you saying? He's not much of a leader. Hello, everyone. So you're practicing again. Don't overdo it. Prince Lumen. Perfect timing. Why don't you practice with us? Uh, no, thank you. But why not? Don't want to get dirty, and I was thinking of going out for ice cream. Want to come along? Sorry, Prince, I'm in training. You guys don't know how to have fun. Save your energy for the important battles. Mm-hmm. If you say so... Prince Lumen, I am sorry to interrupt. Huh? What is it? Someone from Tanda Village wants an audience with you. Shall I send her away? <sighs> How annoying. What? Come now. Don't be so shy. Uh, tell us. What's your business? Please help us, Prince Lumen. I beg you. Worry no more. Now, from the beginning, young lady, tell me your problem. And don't leave out any of the details. Thank you, Prince Lumen. Oh, brother. <laughs> Invectives. They attacked our peaceful village a few days ago. It was horrible. We tried our best to drive them away. But the Invectives were too strong. We were no match for their evil power. 
Prince Lumen, you must help us. The Spider Riders are the only ones who can drive away the Invectids. Fear no more, young lady. Prince Lumen. Yes, the Spider Riders will save your village. Oh, Prince Lumen. You're wonderful. <clears throat> Prince? Don't bother him, he's busy. Hunter? Huh? Prince Lumen has a strong sense of justice. He cannot bear to see anyone suffering. A great mountain. It has been reported that Prince Lumen himself is responding to the village's plight. So I have heard. It's rare he allows himself to be drawn into battle. We may get a chance to observe his power this time. for this. There's no doubt this is the work of the Invectids. They destroy everything in their path. Everybody, come out! The Spider Riders are here to help us. We're going to be come saved! Out, spider. The Spider Riders coming! Thank you for coming to save us, Spider Riders. We knew you would come. We don't need to be afraid anymore. We can't tell you how much this means to us. Good crowd. Where have the Invecteds gone? They've set up a camp on the other side of the mountain. Ha! The Spider Riders have walked right into our trap. Now is our chance to defeat them and impress the Great Mantid. <laughs> I'm so clever. What? A white flag? What kind of trick is this? Negotiate! Hmm. Yes, negotiate. I can't believe it. Stand up. What's happening? Are you kidding, Prince? The Invecteds are our enemies! True, they are our enemies, but I prefer to start the process with a little negotiation. It saves so much time and energy, and if all goes well, we can still have a nap before dinner time. But, Prince! That's enough, Hunter. Prince Lumen has spoken. But that's not... Captain, please take your men and leave this village now. Do you actually believe that we're going to go away just because you asked us nicely? Here's the deal, Captain. I will give you a brand new village of your own if you promise to leave this one alone. Hmm? A new village? For us? Yes. There is a beautiful place not far from here. We will build you a village complete with a bakery, gardens, hot springs, and your own houses. That's the deal. What did he say? You're just going to give us a village? For free? Yes. And all we have to do is promise to stay away from this one? That's right. Hmm. That's pretty tempting. Indeed. However, we refuse. What else do you need? We came to search for something. I forget what. But we can't leave until we've finished our mission. You're searching for something? Searching for what? <laughs> then it's decided. Stay in this village until you find what you're looking for, or not. Huh? Please be neat and put everything back where you found it. Remember to search as you would like to be searched. What's in your head, Prince? What do you mean, Hunter? What's up with you being so nice to the Invectids? It's just weird. There's nothing wrong with trying to be pleasant. Besides, they promised to leave right after the search. 
Isn't that right? What? Oh, yes, yes. You see? Yeah, I guess. Search every nook and cranny. We're not leaving here until we find whatever it is we're looking for. Why is Prince Lumen letting him do this? It's like he can't be bothered to defend us. Uh, how would he like it if someone went through his underwear drawer? I don't know why he's the captain of the Spider Riders. So, Captain? Huh? We've searched every nook and cranny in this village and we can't find anything. Is that so? Yes, of course, it would have helped if you'd remembered what we were looking for. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. There. I am sorry to hear you found nothing, Captain. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Well then, Captain. Shall we be off? Uh, very well then. Igneous, take the Captain and his troops to their new village. Uh, yes, Your Highness. This way, please. Very much obliged. <laughs> Young lady, thanks to my work, you and your village are completely safe again. And now, please feel free to show me your gratitude. Oh. Don't be so shy, beautiful young lady. Where's my thank you? Or my little kiss on the cheek? <laughs> well, I guess she had to go check on something. If you say so, Prince Herman. Negotiated with the infected. Again? How did it go this time? Who knows? Prince Lumen went back to sleep as soon as he got home. <laughs> More documents requiring the royal signature, Prince Lumen, in triplicate. <sighs> what was he thinking? I mean, what kind of negotiation was that? He gave them everything they wanted! He gave them their own village. He acted like they were his buddies. Hunter, Lumen does things in his own way. Yeah, sure, the wrong way. He did it because he didn't want to fight. He's afraid. Hunter, that's enough. Why? Are you saying I'm wrong? I am. <clears throat> Calm down, you two. This thing is not worth fighting over. Yes, it is. Hunter, listen. The Invecteds just moved into their new village a few days ago. Has there been any trouble since? There have been no attacks since the Prince made his deal. It seems that Prince Lumen's plan is working. I wonder... Blub, blub, blub. I... You know, this is a pretty good life we've got here. That's for sure, Captain. Uh, I mean, Maya, Captain. I need some more bubble bath. Oh, yeah. Right away, Maya, Captain. Uh, it's a sweet life. It sure is. We rise in the morning, bake muffins, iron our armor, and enjoy the sun. And when the sun goes down, we sleep. No more shivering in the cold or worrying about food. What more could an Invected ask for? What more? Nothing, except maybe... Oh, conquest, Mayor Captain? Destruction? Yes, conquest. Destruction! <laughs> what? That came from the Tanda village. They're under attack. I told you, Igneous, you can't trust promises made by bug-eyed invectives. Prince Lumen! <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Good evening, neighbor. <laughs> but why? You promised Lumen. You said that you wouldn't attack us anymore. <laughs> Did you expect an infected to keep a promise made to a human? You tricked us. My prince, we must hurry. The Invecteds have returned and attacked the Tanda village. <laughs> Sparkle? Where's the prince? My brother is busy right now. <clears throat> you were fools to accept our word! So don't blame me! Blame your soft-hearted Prince Lumen! Ha! Oh. <laughs> prince Lumen! Captain! You promised you wouldn't attack the village again. Fingers crossed. Oh, I see. I gather there is something else you needed. But that doesn't justify this. Take your men and go immediately. If there's something else you need, just ask. Something else? How about your life? We are infected. Our instinct tells us to destroy humans and their villages. If you want us to leave, give us your life! Ha! I can forgive you for breaking your promise, Captain. Everyone deserves a second chance. But trying to take a life? That's different. Uh, enough talking! I agree. Spider, out! I thought you were too unworthy to have a spider. Arachna power! I'm sorry. I wanted to resolve this peacefully. Look out! You might want to quit while you can. Oh, really? Last chance. Prince Lumen! He came by himself? The Prince has released Ebony. Ebony? That's Prince Lumen's partner? Yes. The Prince rarely lets Ebony battle. His skill and power are so great, Lumen fears they might hurt someone accidentally. If the Prince has summoned Ebony, he means business. It's just a spider attack! Let's ride! Can't be! Blade and drive away this darkness! Oh, awesome! Awesome is right! Prince Lumen is so cool! Ah, I'm glad you guys made it. We'll follow your lead, Prince Lumen. Actually, I'll leave the rest to you. What? Leave the rest to us? Are you all right, young lady? Come with me to a safer place. I like that. What's that? Trouble! Cross them! Corona! Igneous! Yeah! yeah. Arachna power! for saving my life, Prince Lumen, and our village. I don't think the Invectids will return anytime soon. You were wonderful. 
I'm sorry, but it ended up this way. Huh? Arachna Kingdom will do all it can to help rebuild your village. Please give my regards to everyone. Bye. Hmm. My prince. I told you, we should have fought them from the beginning. You can't trust an infected. I suppose you were right. But right now, I'm so very tired. I need a good nap. <sighs> I could sleep for a week. I suspect this is not the last time Prince Lumen will try to negotiate with them. I think so too. No matter how many times it may fail. Huh? But why? Prince Lumen believes his actions will one day lead to peace, Hunter Steel. His heart is as fierce as your own. <sighs> My feet are killing me. Mm -hmm. Really? They're really delicate, you know. So this is how Prince Lumen plans to protect world peace? By sleeping? You'll see. One day the prince will surprise us all. At least, I think he will. Talking dog. That's right. Three extreme genes in an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Janet Nelson Jr. Please spell the word diphtheria. Diphtheria. D I P H T H E R I A. Diphtheria. Correct. Go me. I'm smart. Go me. Next student, Johnny Test. Please spell the word go. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, uh, yes, go. Right, I'm ready to go. The word is go. Go? Are you kidding? <laughs> no prob. <clears throat> go. G. G. Oh! Oh! Oh, how I wonder if he'll get it. <laughs> we need your answer, please. G-E-A-U-X, go. <laughs> I couldn't spell go. Maybe your experiments are damaging my brain cells. Don't be ridiculous. Now excuse us while we lock ourselves in this lead box. It's called the hairdo ray. It will thicken, color, and style hair in seconds. I totally embarrassed myself in front of the whole school and Janet Nelson Jr. Maybe you just got stage fright because you like her. I don't do stage fright, and I don't like Janet. D-O-N, some other letter, don't. Who doesn't like Janet? She's the prettiest girl in school. At the same time, you hate her. But you still gotta like her. It works! We'll always have awesome hair! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and now you owe me a favor. Make Johnny smart! Ask and ye shall receive. Behold, the super smarty pants. They look like an ordinary pair of pants. But the wearer will absorb all the knowledge that has been stored into the cyber pant fibers. 
and a low-rise waist and ground draggy flare bottoms add style. I can feel my brain expanding already. I'm a genius! Can you invent me a belt, too? Johnny Test. Student. His brain barely used. We can rebuild him. The pants will make him smarter. Smarter? Smarter. Faster. Stronger. More technical. And more mechanical. And Janet will probably fall in love with him. These pants have the technology and the cool fashion sense to make the world's first super smart Johnny Tech. Super smarty pants, I'm gonna hang you up on actual hangers. I love you. Another day, another opportunity to impress everyone with my super... Smarty pants? Huh, must have fallen off the hanger. Way off. Johnny, I hope you don't mind. I put you on our Battle of the Math Geeks team. Battle of the Math Geeks? Isn't that for math geeks? And for super popular and gorgeous brains like me. I'm the captain. And with you two, we can't lose! Whoa! Wait! Wrong way, stupid pants! How could pants attack you? It's not like they have brain waves. They're alive? Wow, this takes breathable fabrics to a whole new level. As of 1.34 p.m. yesterday, the Smarty Pants became self-aware. And until we can do more tests, they have to stay here in the lab. But what about the Battle of the Math Geeks? Shall I call ahead and forfeit for you, or do you want to take your beating like a dumb guy? No way. I think I've absorbed enough Smarty Pants power. I can win without them. We just can't be together anymore. It's not you, it's me. And by that, I mean you freak me out! I'm glad you're on the team test. And I mean that sincerely, which is really weird for me. Our final contestant, Johnny Test. Find three consecutive odd integers whose sum is 105. Um, hockey? <laughs> what is the square root of infinity? Sausage? What is two plus two? Um, monster truck? Final question. For 10 points, Johnny Test. Using binomial series, expand the following function as a Maclaurin series. Time out! Look, I know I said some pretty mean things before, but I can't live without you! We rewrite the expression so there is a constant of one inside the radical. Correct, you win! Well, how do you like us now, pork butt? How do you like us now? Ooh, frozen juice smoothies for everyone. A go smoothie. Go smoothie. I'll uh, see you at the frozen juice smoothie shop, Johnny. <laughs> I'm
I need to look good. Then lose the smarty pants. They make you look wide through the hips. I'm guessing Janet doesn't like wide guys. I do not like Janet. Okay, maybe a little bit. Ow! Great job, math geeks. Oh, great smoothie. What happened? Janet was abducted by pants! <gasps> the Smarty Pants took Janet. I need the hairdo ray. What for? The Smarty Pants are made of hair, right? They're actually a cotton fiber optic mohair blend. Close enough. I need the ray to destroy the Smarty Pants. Right! What he said! Johnny, wait! Yeah! But now we just have to wait for the Super Smarty Pants to fall apart like the hairdo ray made my hair fall out earlier. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Johnny, you took the big hairdo ray, AKA the wrong one. But it still has that hair falling out defect, right? Actually, it has a different defect. And that would be... <laughs> Lasers. Say what? Um, this might be a good time to... Run! But run to the school! I just conveniently remembered something that happened earlier that might help us now! Time to do a little turbo tailoring. You saved me. That was cool. Um, you want to finish that smoothie without all the pant filled terror? Yeah, sure. Why not? Go smoothie. 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 <laughs> Go smoothie, go smoothie. Take your daughter to work day. All over Pork Belly, parents are taking their little sweethearts to the office to show them how jobs work. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweetie? Show them your real hair, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's also give your doggy your leftovers day. But, Mom, do we have to go to work with you? Take your daughter to work day doesn't do anything for girls except keep them out of school. My meeting is at the Pork Belly Aeronautic Robotic Propulsion Lab. Okay, okay we'll, we'll go. go. What? They don't have to go to school? I want to go to work with Mom. Sorry, Johnny, but it's take your daughter to work day. This is an outrage, a conspiracy against boys across this great land, and I won't stand for it. I will not be denied. You girls have a great day with Mom. And Johnny, don't miss the bus. Here are your lunches, but remember, tonight is takeout meatloaf day! So I want you all home by six sharp for takeout meatloaf. Or you know what? You'll take away Dookie? You'll take away the lab. Kick, scream, and cry? All of the above. Bye! I told you I would not be denied. Hold it. You're not allowed in. Unless you agree to do all the fun parent-daughter activities today. The parent-daughter funny photo, model rocket contest, whatever. Mom, please tell me your meeting is in that super top secret lab. No. Even more exciting. <gasps> oh. A boardroom? Emphasis on board? We are in the most advanced rocket lab in the world, and we have to hang in a boardroom? Yeah, that's right. Well, I guess we'll be enjoying Take Your Johnny to Work Day outside, because there's no way we're getting in that lab without a pass or parent. I saw something in this spy movie once where this agent dude snuck into a lab disguised as... Don't be silly, Johnny. Nothing you see in a movie works in real life. <laughs> I stand corrected. 
Mom, it's great seeing you work with old guys, but we gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Not check out that top secret lab or anything. Okay, I'll catch up with you later. Give it up. There's no way anyone is gonna let two unsupervised teens into a top secret lab. Hmm. We're in. Excuse me, do you have clearance to enter this lab? Turn around slowly. What are you doing here? It's my personal protest regarding the suppression of boys everywhere who must stay in school while girls get to go to work with... Okay, we get it. Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be with your mom. We're checking out the world's greatest lab, which also seems to be some sort of command center for military rocket tests. So where are all the important old dudes? According to this, everyone's at the parent-daughter funny photo. Think of all the things we could do here. Yeah! Like chicken fights! <laughs> Knock it off, Johnny. Chicken fights can be dangerous. <laughs> Launch sequence commenced. <laughs> Deadly missile launching in one minute. Oh. Didn't I tell you it was dangerous? No problem. I'll just punch in some new coordinates and make the deadly missile land in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Target selected. Park Pelly Aeronautic Robotic Propulsion Lab. Why did you let me do that? Who lets a dog punch in coordinates? Run! There's less than a minute until the parent-daughter funny photo. Get your daughters and let's go. Say, funny photo. Funny photo. Quick, back to the... Mom! There you are. Time to go. But, Mom, we have to see that top secret lab because we need to... Go! We can't be late for take your favorite dinner home day. Your father will be very upset. Man, I love holograms. We just need to find the self-destruct switch. We'll simply destroy the deadly missile before it destroys Pork Belly, and there's no self-destruct switch! <gasps> deadly missile locked on Pork Belly. I saw something in this movie once. Johnny, please! Nothing you see in a movie works out in real life! Actually, hear the kid out. This old general dude used his second rocket to destroy the deadly rocket, and it went and the deadly rocket went and everyone went So it's a good thing he watches too much TV. So let's take out this missile before it takes us out. Intercept missile launching. Time for the parent-daughter model rocket contest. And it wouldn't be Take Your Daughter to Work Day without ice cream and fireworks. So if this doesn't work, we're all doomed, right? Yeah, that's right. Wow, that was much bigger than last year. We did it! We, we saved thousands, thousands of lives! Yeah, but now you guys are toast. Dinner's in ten minutes, and there's no way you'll get home. Ah! Mom will see that you two are holograms, and Dad will see that Johnny cut school. <laughs> Quick, we need a smart, strategic, and effective plan. Right. Johnny, did you ever see a movie that can get us out of this? There was this one where a special forces army zooms in and gets the heroes back to base and stops the bad guys from catching them. Oh, that works. Let's just call a special forces army that can delay mom and dad and get us home in 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe we do have a special forces army, as in every girl in pork belly. We're like girls, and we have to like get home in like 10 minutes or our dad will like ground us totally for life. Get in the bag. The red blip is mom, the blue blip is dad, and this is us. We'll never make it. This is as far
far as I can take you. But don't worry, I got you a faster ride. What's your address? Daddy, ah! you missed an emergency call at 252 Fork Belly Drive. <laughs> it's no use. Dad's already at the meatloaf store. We'll never beat him home. You have a picture of your dad. Delay this, Dad. Delay this, Dad. Sir, you forgot your large drink and extra hot potatoes. Ah! Oops. I'll get you some towels. But it might take me a long time to get them. Awesome. Dad is stalled. <laughs> and so are we. No, you're not. We'll get you home. Okay, then, pop your load. Okay, Port Belly traffic is clearing up nicely, and it should be a smooth commute home for dinner on this Take Your Daughter to Work Day. That's right, Dad. Now let's check the traffic over at the test house. There's Dad's car! There's Mom's car! But what are they going to say when they see a helicopter drop us off? And things look clear over the test house, except for Mr. and Mrs. Test and that mattress delivery truck. <laughs> We're here, and we beat your father home. <laughs> Sorry I'm late! So, do you girls still not like Take Your Daughter to Work Day? Actually, Dad, we think it teaches girls very useful skills. I'm still wearing the girls' outfit, aren't I? Escaping Von Reimer and the General's forces, Marty and his friends fall prey to Orange Mama. Will she hand them over to Reimer for the reward money? Not yet. A kid with an atomic punch is just what the Orange Valley Grand Wrestling Championship needs for a spectacular finale. As Buttons and Allie plan their escape from the dungeon, Marty must prepare for battle. In the dressing room, Marty waits nervously for the event to begin, unaware of who or what he'll be facing in the battle pit. Thank you all for waiting. Can you feel the excitement in here tonight? It's time for the best brawlers in the Grand Desert to go head to head in the ultimate battle. Are you ready for a show? I can't hear you. Where's Jenny? The first battle is about to begin. She better not be snooping around the prisoners' quarters. You've got to keep an eye on that girl or she disappears. Uh, would you like me to go fetch her? Mm. No, she'll show up. Okay. It's nice for her to see kids her own age again after such a long time. Of course, I hope there's no trouble. Now, I see by the clock on the wall, it's time to ring the bell. Is everybody ready for the first match? All right, in this corner, he's known throughout the Grand Desert. The King of Kicks, the Feet of Fury, winner of all. 15 qualifying matches in the Southern Division, the most feared master of the hurricane attack, the one, the only, Kickboxer Sepak! Yeah! <laughs> and here, oh no, it's the boy that flattened an entire motorcycle gang all by himself! Believe it or not, here he is, the kid with the atomic punch, Marty! Huh? Huh? He's not there. Um, sir, huh? I don't know in a fight like this. Actually, I really don't want to be here. Look how small I am. I mean, maybe there's someone else you'd rather fight than me? What is this munchkin talking about? Maybe what are you doing over off? here? Hey, Stay in your corner! Uh, wait! I, uh, uh, sir, please! Uh, uh, I, I'm just a kid! Ow. Yes, it's the ultimate battle to decide the very best of the Grand Desert. And the first match is about to begin. In one corner, Sam Pack, winner of all his qualifying matches. He's a real crowd favorite. And his opponent's name is Marty, and he's got no qualifying records at all. <laughs> right, well, let's see how my partner sees his match turning out. It's ridiculous for a boy and an unproven wrestler to face a hurricane kickmaster like Sam Pack. It's like trying to stop a charging rhino with a fly swatter. This crowd should demand their money back. There's no battle here. Rumor has that this kid beat up a dozen motorcycle gang members with that huge glove of his. That could play a major factor. <laughs> yeah, I could take care of that little weenie with one sneeze. I can't believe they paired me up with a little kid. Uh, let's get this over with. Huh? Please, sir. You have to listen. I'm not a fighter. What? 
Orange Mama has my friends locked up. If I don't win this match, she'll do something terrible to all of us. Please, sir, let me win. Hey, hey, hey yeah. let go Can't of me. You just let me win, please. Wow, it looks like the kid is going on the attack. He's got the leg. Sandback's in trouble. <laughs> That's what you call a defensive strategy, you see. I think Sandback is trying to wear the kid out. You little leech, let go. Sir, <laughs> we can work this out. <laughs> Let go, kid, before I get mad. Oh, please, sir. No! No! Come on, Setback! My grandma fights better than you! I can't believe it! Setback is down! That kid Marty is showing no mercy! He may be small, but he's a tough one. Setback may have finally met his match. Uh, sir, please, let me have this one win, please! Kid, get off me! Uh, One surprise after another out there. There's no telling what will happen next, folks. It's still anybody's match. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Sampak known for knocking out every opponent in under a minute? I guess he's running a little late today. Seems the kid with the atomic punch is really getting the best of our champion. There's still 10 seconds to go in the first minute, and you can bet Sam Pack will take care of the kid real soon. He's just waiting for an opening, then it's all over. I'm betting Marty's best moves are still to come, and this match is getting more exciting by the second. Give him a hurricane kick, Sam Pack! Way to take him down, kid! Oh. Oh. Sir, the Ace Squadron is down. Steeljaw Jack has escaped. Oh no. What should I do, sir? Contact the Ace Squadron and have them return to base now. But sir, how can they turn back when they're so close? You see that devastation there? Jack didn't do it. What? There. Corporal, zoom in on the object at four o'clock. Yes, sir. Enlarging image, stand by. You recognize that weapon, Kelly? You've seen it before, haven't you? Uh. <laughs> uh, I want to get out of here. I'm Open so bored. Door. I want to see the huh? puppy. Who's there? Oh, he's so cute. Huh? Maybe Grandma will let me keep him. Uh, so you open his uh, door now. Uh, uh, young lady, please. I was instructed not to let anyone in, especially you. I said open the door. I'll start crying. Open it now. Do as I say. I want to see the puppy! <laughs> the puppy! puppy Young lady, puppy, puppy, you're frazzling my circuits! Puppy. <laughs> oh, this is too much! No! You open that door right now! I want to see that puppy! All right, I'll do it. But promise you won't tell Orange Mama. Please! Okay! <laughs> Wake up! <gasps> the puppy! Here! <laughs> what? What's that? Uh, uh. <laughs> ah, puppy! Get it! Get it! Hey! This is nothing but a stupid old bone! You think I'm an ordinary dog? You've got some nerve! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hello. 
Do you want to play with us? I don't want to play with her! <laughs> this is so humiliating. I'm really sorry I knocked you over. Kid, don't forget, if you're no use to us in the ring, we can always turn you and your friends in for that reward money. So if I were you, I'd start putting on a show. Show. Uh, okay. Uh, is that supposed to be an attack? How could they even let the kid get in the ring? Look at him. He doesn't even know the basics. He's nothing but an amateur. <sighs> and Sam Pack has gone down again! The kid's unexpected atomic counterpunch has sent the champion to the mat! Ooh! Ah, you gotta be kidding me. It looks like Sam Pack slipped. Look, he's already getting back up and he's ready to mop the floor with that kid. Sam Pack is not the kind of wrestler to take an insult lying down. His next attack is sure to be the most intense one yet. <sighs> that little brat is making me look bad. I can't let him distract me anymore. I didn't want to use my kicks before because I took pity on the pipsqueak. Not anymore. to his Muay Thai position. Of course, he's had enough of the kid's games, and now he means business. That's kind of a weird pose. <laughs> kid, get up! Whoa, that was some kick. There's no way I can keep dodging him. He's fast. If George were here, what would he say? Marty, shorten the distance. Get inside his guard. <laughs> What you say to her? She's wearing orange just like that orange hag lady. And you know what? My grandma runs this whole place. And if people don't listen to her, they get locked up and punished just like you. She's tough and everyone's really, really afraid of her. Except for me. So do you mean there are other prisoners in here too? Mm-hmm. There's a much bigger room underground. I saw someone stuck to the ceiling there. He was just a kid. No! Oh, no! Marty! Excuse me, your puppy. Can I hold him? Sure. Yes! <laughs> Save me, Ellie! This is boring. The kid can't even hit back. Forget watching this round. Sorry, folks. Why don't you go make yourself a sandwich or go have a little snooze? Oh, Sam Pack's doing a middle kick and high kick combination. Marty's being pushed into a corner. That's a dangerous place if he gets stuck there. That's it. Right there, that's his weak spot. Okay, let's try that again. This kid's not too bright. He's gonna try the same useless attack. The kid makes another surprise attack. He's using his opponent's power to spring himself forward. And Sam Pack took quite a hit. It looks like he's really hurting out there, too. What do you have to say? Hey, yes, that did look a little painful. Uh, what I mean is, if it were any other wrestler out there, it could have ended this battle. But this is Sam Pack, a seasoned wrestler in great shape. Oh, but look now. Sam Pack is getting up, and I'd say he wants his revenge. Come on. You sneak. So your little I'm weak and afraid routine was all just an act. Well, I'm done playing around. I came here to battle, and that's what I intend to do. You think you're tough? Well, I wrote the book on being tough. Allie, aren't you gonna do something? How is this supposed to help us get out of here? She's gonna ruin my beautiful metal body! That kid in the underground room? 
Did he have brown eyes and short hair? I bet he was a little older than you. Maybe my age and about as tall as me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I bet he had on a yellow shirt and blue pants. And on his arm, he was wearing a big robotic fist. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That's him. Stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Marty. Oh, and he's not underground. He's in the battle pit. <gasps> You mean they put Marty in the competition? Yeah, maybe. That's what my grandma told me. She might have been teasing me. I've never seen a kid battle those big, strong robots before. They'd smash him up. Ah, <gasps> what's that thing right there? It's so shiny and pretty. Uh, like it? <sighs> Would you like to try it on? <laughs> <laughs> Another low kick! Sam Pack isn't called the master of hurricane kicks for nothing. There's no way out for the kid now. He's done for. It's almost like he's up against a real force of nature down there. <laughs> the crowd's booing me? Well, I'll give him something to boo about. Oh, no! <laughs> he wouldn't dare! Sam Pack is getting set to do the hammer knee slam! Bring the car around. This battle will soon be won for the history books, folks. Say goodnight, kid. It's all over. <laughs> This keeps up will be one big bruise. Hey, kid, had enough yet? Hmm. Huh? A straight line of attack will get you there faster. Yeah, and his attack is circular. All right, I got it. <laughs> Are you ready, kid? You still think you got what it takes? Huh? Tips a punch even as he takes the low kick, and he's coming back for more. Uh, just a little faster. <sighs> no way. Stay down, punk. if you let us talk to your grandma. Oh, I forgot! I was supposed to watch the battles with her this afternoon! I hope I didn't miss anything! Jenny, come back! Hey, wait! Don't leave without us! Marty, please stay safe. After that flurry of attacks, both fighters are down on the canvas. The kid landed a powerful punch, but took the full force of Sam Pack's kick. Yes, a truly amazing battle, don't you think, partner? I've never seen anything like it. Er, uh, well, what I mean, uh, that I, uh, er, uh, well, I... I don't believe it! Sam Pack is trying to get up! The fight goes on! <laughs> You're good, Matt. You are indeed a worthy opponent. But now it's time to settle this once and for all! Whoa! Look out! Here comes Sandpack's most powerful move! The Hurricane Kick! Finally! We get to see the move that badly injured five of Sandpack's opponents in the qualifying rounds. They couldn't stand up to the awesome power of the mighty Hurricane Kick! I wouldn't want to be that kid right now. He'll be carried out of here on a stretcher if he makes it through this one. Hey! 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 That was 
was close. He nearly got me. And here he comes again. Okay, this time I'll be ready. I'll keep my guard up and look for an opening. Wow, the kid is finished. And he was doing so well, too. What a shame he was a real crowd favorite who came back from the hurricane kick and everything. Well, what did I tell you? It was obvious who was going to win this battle. Come on. You didn't actually think a little kid like that had a chance against Sandback, did ya? Uh, 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 uh. Marty, please get up. Marty, Marty. I can't let it end like this. What's this kid made of? He actually got up after taking my hurricane kick. <sighs> that does it. I'll make sure he stays down permanently. Uh, uh, Ali. All right, kiddo. This battle ends here and now. Ah, uh, hold on now. Sam Pack can't do that. That move is illegal. Hmm. It's been nice knowing you, punk. as I predicted. So, what were you able to find on that weapon? I did a thorough review of all the Defense Ministry's classified data. That axe is believed to be the same one used by one of the General's subordinates, a robot named Scar. It's at least a hundred years old, sir. <sighs> Just as I feared. There's something else, sir. We found a sword near the Iron Tower. We also believe this may belong to another of the General's subordinates as well. That's Black Beauty's sword. It can't be. <laughs> hmm. This must be the place. 